potato growing in Uganda is by over 300,000 smallholder farmers. Of this, 60% is produced in the hilly southwestern region of the country. Farmers like them because they have the highest production per unit area. It has the shortest maturity period. It is very nutritious. It is storable. Ni mwondi kuyi ha school fees ezo kushome sabana. Echi indi, nera usia senti. Koro kujihinga, ya heza kwera, ora uka kujiguza, obonaka senti. One of the challenges that we have been having with this crop is a leaf spot disease called red bright. This is a disease that can cause 60 to 100 percent yield loss. Kachwekano coordinates research in southwestern highlands of Uganda. We work on potato where we have a national mandate. As narrow and steep, we are looking at a way how best can we save this farmer from losing this much, at the same time the economy losing all this money to the disease. Biotech is a tool that can actually help us fix most of these gaps that we normally incur under conventional breeding. SIP, in a partnership with NARO, have developed a Victoria variety which is highly resistant to late blight disease using genetic engineering. The variety is being field tested and will be submitted to government agencies for approval. We have used genetic engineering to improve the Ugandan potato variety Victoria to make it resistant to the late blight disease. The disease resistant genes used are from potato. The same genes are used in traditional breeding but it takes at least 20 years to make a new variety. Here, it takes only three years to convert an existing potato variety to full resistance. However, national agencies need to approve it before release to farmers, and this step can take one or more years. This new improved Victoria variety is completely resistant to the disease and has all the properties that farmers like. Come on, this is the thing. 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 This is the Women have gone out of production of potatoes because it is very expensive and it's laborious. Requires spraying, especially against the late blight disease. Farmers have been trying to manage it using fungicides. On an average, farmers spray up between 12 to 14 times. It comes to 1.5 million Ugandan shillings per season, per acre. Where we are now, it's a feed trial testing improved Victoria in comparison with non-improved Victoria. This Victoria is improved in a way that uh, it's able to resist late blight disease. Farmers were able to visit these trials and were able to appreciate the yield from this improved Victoria compared to the non-improved Victoria and we're happy with it. The results were so interesting, they were good and where we are now we are at the stage of doing multi-occasional trials. From one plant you can have over 10 tubers per plant. This is going to translate to over 30 tons per hectare. The yield gains of using the transgenic Victoria at an average of an acre would give about two to three million Uganda shillings per acre per season, by the way. And this is a very good achievement. We are sure that the product we have is going to stand a test of time. We are aware of the pathogen diversity for this disease and it is so small. If farmers can take it up, it's going to be very durable for some good years. Sima wantu wakazadi munong. Barone bakora rusachi, ibaru kweta mwini biotokenerji, e yoku ronda, e mwondi ezitari kubabuka. If we found a solution to the late blight disease, they will be able to go back into potato production and this will help them take their children to school, health care centers, as well as to feed them. So we look forward to the solution to the late blight disease.
we hope that once this variety is released and this technology is working well, our farmers, especially in this Chigezo region, should be able to reduce their poverty levels depending heavily on the use of pesticides. Potato is a very important crop which we are working towards exploiting its potential. We welcome all the efforts and we thank the partnership that we have had with International Potato Center. So we welcome all the efforts to help us achieve the potentials of potato as a crop. Thank you.